Tuesday, April 23, Courage to Stand. Compare Acts 5, verses 28 to 32, Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 12, and Revelation 3, verse 11. What basic principle is found in these texts? Acts 5, beginning at verse 28. We gave you strict orders not to teach in his name, and he said, Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. Peter and the other apostles replied, We must obey God rather than human beings. The God of our ancestor raised Jesus from the dead, whom you killed by hanging him on a cross. God exalted him to his own right hand as prince and saviour, that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins. We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. And Ephesians chapter 6, beginning at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And Revelation 3, verse 11. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take your crown. One of the distinguishing characteristics of the Waldenses and each one of the Reformers was their absolute allegiance to God, their obedience to the authority of Scripture and their commitment to the supremacy of Christ, not the papacy. Their minds were saturated with New Testament stories of faith and courage. With Peter and the Apostles, they could say, We ought to obey God rather than men in Acts 5.29. They grasped Paul's admonition in Ephesians 6.10, Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. They took seriously Jesus' counsel, Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown in Revelation 3.11. Rather than submit to the traditions of the Roman Church, these stalwart men and women of faith had the courage to stand for the truths of God's Word. The Waldenses were one of the first groups to obtain the Bible in their own language. A moving account of their hand-copying of the Bible, written by Jean Leger, a Waldensian Bible copyist, contains first-hand information of their work, including drawings. The Waldenses secretly copied the scriptures in their mountain communities of northern Italy and southern France. Youth, at an early age, were instructed by their parents to memorise large portions of scripture. Teams of Bible copyists worked together to laboriously copy the Bible. Many of these Waldense young adults travelled throughout Europe as merchants, quietly sharing the truths of Scripture. Some enrolled in universities and, as the opportunity arose, shared the portions of the Scriptures with their fellow students. Guided by the Holy Spirit, at the right moment when they sensed a receptivity on the part of some honest seeker, select portions of their precious scripture passages were given away. Many paid for their fidelity and devotion with their lives. Although the Waldenses did not understand every Bible teaching clearly, they preserved the truth of God's word for centuries by sharing it with others. Proverbs 4.18 reads, But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Solomon compares the path by which God leads his children to a sun that rises higher and higher. If God simply threw a cosmic switch and the sun shone instantly in all its brightness, it would blind us. After darkness engulfed the world for centuries, God raised up men and women committed to his word who continued to search for more. And so to finish today, how can we, reflecting the light of Christ, shine in our own community? Do we? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. 
Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.